think it did, but he did stay in front of the driving player and contested the drive. Six on the shot clock for the Tritons. And you saw the replay there. Ellie Pia just lost it. Here is a pass inside. Norris. LMU playing some tight man-to-man -man defense right now. Six on the shot clock. Jacintana. Lea Pepe. And here is McLaughlin for three. Missed it. And Norris does a nice job to rebound and save it to DeVril Ramsey. Boy, Scott got in close that time, but couldn't convert. Good swing pass to the far corner. points six on the shot clock outside this is Ramsey swinging on the wing a three-point shot is it is not every day you have the number one ranked team in your conference and of course that is the Gonzaga Bulldogs you have Brigham Young in the West Coast Conference St. Mary's Pepperdine San Francisco left side McLaughlin in the corner a three-point shot is throws it to McLaughlin top of the circle waves down by five eight on the shot clock McLaughlin with the dribble, down to four on the shot clock. McLaughlin will pull up, but throws up Allen, an experience as Ramsey with the dribble into the lane. Kick it back out to McLaughlin, dribbles down the key, left hand, throws it up. 4-51, 7-18 to play. Norris left side to McLaughlin, guarded by Ball, out in front to Ramsey, six on the shot clock. McLaughlin with four, McLaughlin's shot is good. You see Irvine solid. They're solid, but there's times you see Santa Barbara, I feel like, has settled for outside shots. The three of on the basket. Get the ball inside the paint. The big fella's trying to post up down there, eat a hand, or look for driving opportunities. But you just can't fall in love with the three-pointer like they did yesterday. That's a patient move. Take them out of their game. Baker misses that three-pointer. Lachlan from the elbow, yes. Average about 71 points a game. They've dialed it up this year at 81 a clip. McLaughlin in the key. Yes. Here's Lee moving up inside against So, and So rebounds. A good post entry for Cal State Fullerton on their first possession. And there is Shakur. Norris on the block shot of Dante Maddox Jr. Now here's Dante Maddox for three. That one missed. And That's long it. rebound to DeVro Ramsey up ahead. Jacory McLaughlin finishes with authority. That's no good. A lot of contact, but no foul called. Now the Gauchos have the advantage in terms of numbers the other way. Here's Edehan laying it up at eight. Now to Torrey. Seku again playing with three fouls. McLaughlin hangs in the air, gets it to Barnes inside. Dustin puts points. They've turned it over 18 times, and we still have... Ten minutes and change left in this game. Gauchos have turned it over seven times. There's turnover There's number 19. Let's see if he tries to drive. Does not. McLaughlin with a floater in the paint. Got it to go. Here is McLaughlin for the lead. And that one rims in and out. But there's Edehan with the board. And the Gauchos have a fresh 20-second shot clock. McLaughlin goes in strong. Gauchos have tied the game. I think he's the older brother. This one, Tony. Tony's a junior. Here is... A nice drive. So he's six of eight. Makes one out of two. Tritons by two. They are really doing a good job on McLaughlin, who gets it down to Amadou So. It on top. Right side, here is McLaughlin. Jacory trying to go baseline. Gets it to Norris. Back Jeez. to Jacory. He'll fire up the long three, and he gets it from the right corner. Jacory. First layup and a pretty play. Nice move by Rochek. <clears throat> Good power move under the bucket. He's got four points. Oh, Ramsey, so on his back. Now a bad pass here up into the front court by Howell. Gaucho's on the move. Here is Cyrus laying it up and in. I was going to say they are really guarding against the three-pointer and They've been burned twice on those cuts to the basket. Here is McLaughlin getting the short made by Tony. 
The Gaucho lead is eight. Here is McLaughlin getting in. I think it did, but he did stay in front of the driving player and contested the drive. Six on the shot clock for the Tritons. Back to Barnes, playing catch on the left side. Starks playing hard. To his left, here's the three from McLaughlin. To play with each other again, but that's okay. You can take a, a, a spanking early in this first half if you have all your, your ammo. McLaughlin from 15, yes. Oh. Three since then, the Matadors 0 for 4 from the floor. Santa Barbara on top here, 4 to 3. Here's the oh. mid-substitutions. Pasternak sends Brandon Cyrus back in for Santa Barbara. Here's the lob from McLaughlin Eight. into Norris. Ramsey, remember he started at Nevada, was recruited to Nevada by our old friend Jay Morris in New Hampshire. McLaughlin outside on the left side. Goes inside the screen. Here's the mid-range for Santa Barbara. They lead by 10, under eight minutes to play in regulation. McLaughlin off the dribble. He'll pull up. Available all season long, how much more he'd be comfortable in the offense. So, off to McLaughlin. Okereke doing a nice job not giving any quarter. In and out. Several subs in there for UC Santa Barbara as well. Here's McLaughlin. Under 10 on this possession. The kick out. Ball swings around the arc. McLaughlin. Pasternak says that Ramsey is easily the best on-ball defender on this Gaucho squad. Drive there. By Three minutes to play. Seven point difference. Norris the board. And Junior Maduda is very, very important for Hawaii's success. But you got to play better deep for Santa Barbara. Bigger possession for University of Hawaii on the defensive end. Here's McLaughlin. Down low against Madut. Had nowhere to go, so he brings it back out. Drives to the basket. Rebels have two. And the team fouls remain. So Hawaii remains in the double bonus. Next Hawaii foul will put the Gauchos officially in the two-shot bonus. The drive by McLaughlin. Lost it. It gets batted around. So winds up with it. McLaughlin with a look from the wing. This is what you play the game for right here. You want to compete at the highest level. This is it. Again, under 10 to shoot on this possession. Ramsey with it. Four seconds to shoot. McLaughlin with his feet on the line gets it. Santa Barbara hasn't hit a three yet. 0 for 6. And I was just going to say, you got to really tip your hat to Riverside this game. Open man is Norris. McLaughlin. Well, Santa Barbara doesn't want to rush, but I think that they should quicken the pace, and that would behoove them. McLaughlin with the... Also lead the league in free throws attempted, free throws paid. Offensive rebound finds its way to the Gaucho. McLaughlin inside. So Moore will come off the bench. McLaughlin hits the three. And right here at the other end, got numbers, get into your best player. Robinson Edahim is number 24. By the way, that's McLaughlin. He was not out long. Nice post up inside. Ramsey double team. McLaughlin thought about that three. Now does take the three. 
Your shot clock winding down. You don't want to give up a penetration. They guard the screen well, but right there, back between the legs, that's just some Damian Lillard type stuff. The step back late in the first half with some sort of leg injury. So not a good scenario for CSU. McLaughlin does not use the screen from Norris. Instead, goes against McCall one-on-one. -on -one. Shot clock at two. He's got to shoot it. He does, and he gets it. Santa Barbara can't. Bakersfield can't connect, and Ramsey's running. Nice extra pass. McLaughlin wide open. Shot to drop. There you see the defense. They failed to get the offense. Man, as they look at his hand, he's got a cut. We're going to find out if he does. Ramsey shoots number five. McLaughlin's going to have to shoot one on the shot clock. And Jacory McLaughlin with the first shot of rebound. I like the strategy early from the Gauchos. They're going to play one on one. They're not going to double them. A jump on all conference in Belt, player of the year in McLaughlin, freshman of the year in Dawson Baker. A lot of talented players out there. Johnson giving them some offense that you wouldn't expect from them. Averaging five points a game, already has four. Champions in school history. He did not play this tournament last year as McLaughlin reverses it, gets it to go, and draws the out. Set a play for your best player. It's a backdoor, and even when the defense rotates, he still finds a way to finish over seven feet and 300 pounds. That's a physical play. A lot of contact be out there and have him call your number. It's a completely another thing to deliver, and that's what he does every time. He goes back to Green, who's reposting, going against So. Ball is turned over, and here comes Ramsey. Gives it up to McLaughlin. He is battling so in a battle of the beef down below. McLaughlin. And Ja'Cory McLaughlin knocks down the shot. McLaughlin. They're comfortably up 13. McLaughlin for three. Ja'Cory McLaughlin continues. Ramsey picks his pocket. Ramsey has been so huge in the second half with these high energy plays. He breaks up. Still Santa Barbara out hustling Irvine with 126 left and a big lead. Three or four games. Good recognition by Ramsey. One thing that the Bishop can create for Creighton, a little bit of a mismatch. He stands at 6'7". We'll talk about that's the kind of player that you want on your team. The tenth, the fall is Coop. Brothers, who had 58 combined, Lisa. Oh, three seed survives, and thank you, Adam. Get this, on Friday, we saw some upsets. 14 different seeds actually won a basketball game, all but the number 14 and number 16 seed. It was 2 on 1 to be able to challenge, stop the 2 on 1 break, and then come up with the rebound and also draw the foul. This first half doing a nice job 27 26. Yes, the pace is in favor of UC Santa Barbara. Greg McDermott has to be happy, happy because they have not made shots. Lawson around the screen. Find the back pass to Ramsey for three. Basketball a little bit more for them. Here so just with the eight points. Ramsey inside the left. First time I see him go one on one. Oh.